Hi, I'm going to begin skill number four now, assist with use of bedpan. Remember, we're always going to do the same pre and post procedure actions because habits help us pass the CNA test. So we're going to knock, pause, and enter. Hello, Ms. Jones, my name is Ann. I'm going to assist you with the bedpan today. I'm gonna to do peanut butter sandwich, provide privacy is P, bed is low and locked is B, Sand is signal device, we don't give that at the beginning, and which is wash your hands. So now I'm ready to begin the skill of assisting with the bedpan. I've assembled my equipment here. What I have is the bedpan, toilet paper, a hand wipe, and two pairs of gloves. So I'm going to apply my gloves before handling the bedpan. There is no critical step on the bedpan procedure now. But remember, we have to get a percentage of steps right in order to pass the skill. Okay, Ms. Jones, if you'll lift up a little bit, I'm going to place the bedpan underneath of you. Okay, as soon as I place the bedpan, I'm going to remove gloves without contaminating myself into the waste container and wash my hands. I must do this before I touch anything else in the room. So now I'm going to go to the foot of the bed and raise the head of the bed. All right, Ms. Jones, here is your hand wipe. Be sure to clean your hands when you're finished. Here is your toilet paper, and here is your call light. Be sure to call me when you finish. Remember, these are two-part steps. I give her her hand wipe, and I instruct her to clean her hands when she's finished. I must do both parts of that step in order to get a yes on that step. Here's your hand wipe. Clean your hands when you're finished. In the call light step, I must do both parts. Tell her, here's your call light, and ask her to call me when she's finished. Here's your call light, call me when you're finished, Ms. Jones. So I leave, she calls, I come back in, she's finished. So I'm going to apply my gloves before removing the bedpan. I can do this before or after lowering the head of the bed. I prefer my students to just put the gloves on as soon as they get in the room, and that way they don't forget. I'm going to lower the head of the bed before removing the bedpan. Now this skill is done on a person. I am using a mannequin today for ease of being able to videotape this, but this skill will be done on a person. Now I'm going to remove the bedpan. And I'm going to take it over to the toilet. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to empty it into the toilet. I'm going to get my rinse water, rinse the bedpan, and pour my rinse water into the toilet. And I'm going to put it in the designated dirty supply area. And I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself into the waste container and wash my hands. Now I'm ready to go back to my patient and do my post-procedure actions. So I did not take these items, which is fine because they are not steps on the CNA test. So now I'm going to do my post-procedure, which is peanut butter sandwich. Remove privacy is P. B is ensure the bed is low and it is locked. I give her her signal device, S, in which I wash my hands. And remember, if you always do your pre and post procedure actions for every skill, that will help you pass this test. And that's the end of that skill, assisting a patient with a bedpan.